Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Insurance Institute of Manitoba's 67th Annual Convocation and Award Ceremony. My name is Morgan McKenzie, and I am Secretary Treasurer of the Insurance Institute of Manitoba. We are here to celebrate your achievements and have some fun. You can access the live chat and congratulate the graduate in your life using the chat box below. We invite you to join the conversation on Twitter as well throughout the course of the event using hashtag IICgrad2020. Now let's have a great afternoon together and get into the rest of the presentation. It is my pleasure to congratulate our new graduates on their terrific achievements. I wish we could be together today in person to meet with you, our newest professionals, and I'm impressed and proud of your achievements all the same. It is a reality that every year our industry changes and presents us with new challenges. We see extreme weather, our cyber attacks, or the pandemic, for example. As the world around us constantly evolves, our industry must respond to these changes. It's not enough to simply keep up. We must maintain our position at the forefront of these developments so that we can provide customers with the best advice, the most innovative products, and the highest quality of service they've come to expect. In the midst of these constant changes, there's one thing that never changes, leaders like our graduates, will always command respect. As leaders in the insurance field, you'll be sought out to provide advice and guidance and use your professional and technical skills to ensure positive customer service, whether you're dealing with an automotive accident, natural disaster, or game-changing technology. We know it's not easy at the best of times to go back to school while maintaining a demanding job, being there for friends or family, or staying on top of other responsibilities. And suddenly, COVID-19 threw a huge challenge into the mix. But you're, you've demonstrated resilience and rose to the occasion. You should feel especially proud of your achievements given today's realities. In these ever more complicated environments, we need qualified, knowledgeable professionals who are able to use critical thinking skills they've developed through demanding and thought-provoking programs like the CIP and FCIP. Your CIP and FCIP provide you with the validation that you are a professional, that you are experienced, educated, and ethical, and you are qualified to help people through their insurance experiences. I am the tradition of excellence. Look to the future and continue to raise the bar. When you need a new challenge, the Insurance Institute is here for you. Whether you're looking to take your advanced CIP, tackle the fellowship program, or even step up to teach a course yourself. We encourage you to become an active member in the CIP Society and stay connected with your fellow professionals and become involved in the Institute. With your designation in hand, I hope you will always continue to be committed and passionate to what you do. Nothing less than your best effort will suffice. Passionate people get things done. They energize people and they build enthusiasm in the communities around them. On behalf of the Executive Council of the Insurance Institute of Manitoba, it is my real pleasure to extend our congratulations. We applaud your determination and we hope and provide our deepest respect of your current achievements. Well done and thank you so much. I'd like to thank our event sponsors for their generous support and contributions, beginning with our national gold sponsors, Economical Insurance, RSA, and Travelers. Our national silver sponsors, Aon, and our national bronze sponsors, Marsh Wamanisa Mutual Insurance Company. And now on to our local sponsors. Thank you to the following for their generous support. Our gold local sponsors are Portage Mutual Insurance, Red River Mutual Insurance, and Wamanisa Mutual Insurance Company. Our silver local sponsors are Milnco Insurance Broker Solution Center and Priority Restoration. Our bronze local sponsors are Delta Claims Management and Accomshire. A huge thank you to all of our sponsors for their support. I'd like to now introduce Jennifer Tugas, president of the Insurance Institute of Manitoba. She joins us today to celebrate in your success. Thank you, Morgan. Likely all of you have come to know Jessica Hutchings, our local manager at the Insurance Institute of Manitoba office. Jess has been instrumental in ensuring that your learning journey has been as smooth as possible, especially given the current environment that we find ourselves in. Supporting Jess locally, we have a council to help make decisions that fit for the students and members right here in Manitoba. 
I want to recognize our local volunteer council for sharing their free time in the interests of the insurance community. On our executive, Emma Middleton, Vice President, Academic Division, Delta Claims Management, Inc. Jennifer Scott, Vice President, Professional Division, Manitoba Public Insurance. Joanne Hampson, Past President, Wawanisa Mutual Insurance, Retired. And of course, Morgan McKenzie, Secretary Treasurer, Western Financial Group Insurance Service Solutions. And on our council, Glenn Forkheim, Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Laurel Gaspar, Manitoba Public Insurance. Patrick Lean, Milne Co Insurance and Mitchell Gusway, Wawanisa Mutual Insurance, and finally, Rebecca Holm, Western Financial Group Insurance Solutions. Thank you, Jessica and our board members, so much for your hard work. As each year that passes, I think my memory of my time as a student develops a sheen that wasn't there when I graduated. Thinking back on it now, my time as a student in the CIP, FCIP program, the hard edges seem smoothed off. The benefit of time, I think, is forgiving that way. I remember taking courses with coworkers in my office and at some point even with my own mom, which also sounds uh, nicer than it probably was at the time. I remember the huge euphoria of getting a B in C12 insurance on property and feeling like I had legitimately overachieved. I remember the small moments of clarity that followed a course where an abstract idea that I had been taught revealed itself to be applicable in some real life situation. Seeing you here and putting myself back in your shoes I'm reminded of all of the hard work, the sacrifices, and even the frustrations that it took to get where you are now. I remember balancing my home life, full-time work, and preparing for the courses properly. Some were successful and uh, some were not. I remember falling asleep on my C-111 textbook and waking up with the imprint from the hard binder coil on the side of my face. I remember having to retake a course because I was unsuccessful. And if you're surprised by that, I should tell you that that was also the textbook that I fell asleep on. And to make matters worse, the individual proctoring my rewrite turned out to be the same instructor that had taught me the course in the first place. It was embarrassing at the time to be certain, but funny in retrospect. Being here today, I also remember the real pride I felt sitting in your position, ready to receive my designation. For me, this was the first post-secondary academic achievement and receiving it brought together all of the courses in the program into this single focus. For you, given the current circumstances um, and taking the courses and exams virtually, it's all the more accomplishment to feel proud of. If I could suggest just one thing, enjoy it and take the time to really appreciate your success. And if I could add maybe just one piece to that, it would be get involved in our insurance community. I have had the complete pleasure of working with the Institute in some form or fashion since 2007. I've developed lasting relationships with instructors, students, and colleagues because I got involved. One in particular jumps out at me, my C11 instructor, Doug Hamilton, who, when I became an instructor, became a valued mentor, a respected colleague, and ultimately a friend. He passed away a bit ago. He was a wonderful kook and I miss him. The point in that mentioning uh, Doug is that had I not gotten involved, I would have missed that chance. Ours is a community that's a tight-knit one and cares about one another truly doing well and succeeding. Now, with your hard-won expertise, you can take part to help shape action and direction, make a difference with other students and their journeys, or simply give back and volunteer. The pride and goodwill that you feel today doesn't have to end today. There are countless ways to continue your development and encourage the development of others whether that's by achieving other educational milestones, giving your time to professional organizations, or encouraging your peers as they start their own journey. Congratulations on behalf of the Insurance Institute of Manitoba. We are very proud of you all. Thank you, Jennifer. It is now my pleasure to share some pre-recorded congratulatory messages, one being from Peter Holman, President of the Insurance Institute of Canada, Following an insurance career that included claims, underwriting, and marketing, Peter joined the Insurance Institute of Canada, assuming his current position in 1999. Peter holds an honor Bachelor of Science degree and an MBA with distinction. After earning his fellowship, Chartered Insurance Professional designation, the Insurance Institute of Canada, he went on to complete his second fellowship major, earning his CRM designation and the Daphne Lallier Award for the top graduate in Canada. Peter holds a certified association executive designation, again achieving the top graduate in Canada award, and holds a board of directors designation. 
You'll also hear from Martin Thompson, Chair of the Insurance Institute of Canada. Martin was appointed President and CEO of RSA Canada in 2016. He is a member of the Group Executive Committee and serves on the Canadian Board. Martin's most recent, Martin most recently held the position of Senior Vice President, Commercial Insurance and Global Specialty Lines with RSA Canada. A part of the group since 1997, Martin has held progressively senior global roles, including Chief Underwriting and Risk Officer with RSA Scandinavian Operation and UK Casualty Director. Martin is Associate of the Chartered Insurance Institute in the UK and a graduate of the University of Glasgow. Martin is also a board member of the Insurance Bureau of Canada and Chairman of the Board of Governors for the Insurance Institute of Canada. Enjoy. Hello, everyone. I'm delighted to be with you. Pandemics, recessions, world conflicts, and times when it's business as usual. Through all of these, insurance has been there, and so too, since 1899, has the Insurance Institute. Our education and programs and delivery methods look a lot different back then, but like today, most people complete their insurance education as working adults. This is never easy with so many competing interests family responsibilities, often with young children to care for and sometimes other family members as well. Full work calendars, frequently with major weather events increasing workload significantly. Completing a challenging institute program at the same time requires determination, personal sacrifice and a lot of hard work. Some of our graduates this year finished their studies in December 2019 and missed the excitement of COVID interrupting their education plans. Others had to work with us while we shifted everything online in response to the pandemic. If you wrote exams in the spring and summer, you had to go virtual with us on that aspect of your studies as well. Yet another new experience for you. These are both great examples of the versatility and adaptability of Institute graduates' skills that nicely complement the technical insurance knowledge you gain through their studies. But regardless of whether you had to confront the changes brought about by the virus, I know each one of you has your own story of the challenges you faced to earn your institute designation and the obstacles you had to overcome on your education journey, which, on average, if you are completing your CIP, takes three to five years, a meaningful commitment by any measure, very well done. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank your support network who helped you through these challenges over the years family, friends, and colleagues who were there for you during those stressful times. I also say thank you to employers who in normal times provide financial support for your education and the Institute. During this pandemic, many employers also made exceptions to their corporate policies to allow employees to continue their courses uninterrupted. So a special thank you to them for continuing to be a key part of the education process even during these most unusual times. And while I really would prefer to be there with you in person, I sincerely congratulate virtually our newest designated professionals and completers of our designation programs. You have worked long and hard and sacrificed a great deal to arrive at this point. These accomplishments and your new knowledge will serve you well in this great industry and the career that lies ahead for you. Congratulations and bon chance. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our Virtual Institute Convocation. I want to thank you all for being here to help celebrate the achievements of our graduates. Participating in convocation ceremonies is one of the parts of my role as Chair of the Insurance Institute that I was most looking forward to. But COVID-19 has changed the way we do just about everything. And since in-person convocations had to be cancelled, I'm pleased we are able to celebrate you all in this way. I feel proud and fortunate to have this opportunity to celebrate with our new graduates. You are our future and you possess the right attributes to build and lead our industry in these times of significant change and opportunity. You all share many important traits. You are dedicated, professional, ethical and hard-working members of the property and casualty insurance community. You care about your clients, your employers, and your careers. Another common trait you all share is resilience. The resilience to continue your insurance education and grow 
even during these difficult times. And that is a trait that will serve you well in all aspects of your insurance career. We are all very fortunate to be part of this wonderful industry that does so much to protect and support communities from coast to coast. We deliver peace of mind to the people and businesses of Canada and in the unfortunate circumstance of a devastating loss, we are there to help them get back on their feet as quickly as possible. When Canadians are facing some of the worst experiences in their lives, they turn to insurance professionals who know how to help them. And who better prepared to help people than those who have earned an insurance qualification? Completing these programmes is not easy. It requires a great deal of personal sacrifice and commitment but they are an essential part of building a successful career. You are now a member of a highly distinguished group of qualified people in our industry. However, the CIP, ACIP and FCIP designations come with a responsibility that you will represent our industry with the values and ethics that will ensure Canadians continue to look to us during their most vulnerable times. With increasingly complex policies, lifestyles and weather patterns, and yes, even pandemics, your role as an insurance professional will not be an easy one. But thanks in part to the hard work you've invested, you will be well prepared to meet the rising demands and challenges that lie ahead. Graduates, you have earned the right to be exceptionally proud of your new qualification. These are wonderful accomplishments, and I am so honored to share this special occasion with you. On behalf of the Board of Governors of the Insurance Institute of Canada, it is my very real pleasure to extend our congratulations. We look forward to seeing great things from all of you. Thank you. And now, our graduating class of 2019-2020. Access the live chat as graduates are recognized on screen during the procession. Send your congratulations and cheer for your graduate as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing our chartered insurance professional graduates. Danton Barnes of Wabanisa Mutual Insurance, Aaron Burkhall of Reader Insurance Services, Matthew Boschman of Portage Mutual Insurance, Jessica Brown of Wabanisa Mutual Insurance, Tracy Campbell of Wabanisa Mutual Insurance, Katrina Crocker of Manitoba Public Insurance, Pam Falkenberg of Manitoba Public Insurance, Christine Fitzhenry of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance, Rowan Gira of Guardian Risk Managers LTD, John Gillespie of Western Financial Group Insurance Solutions, Gordon Gushalak of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance, Corin Hensel of Rubin Insurance Brokers, Rebecca Holm of Western Financial Group Insurance Solutions, Fred Lau of Intact Insurance, Jeremy Litke of Western Financial Group Insurance Solutions, Christian Magna of Windward Insurance Group, Dean Mary of Manitoba Public Insurance, John McBride of Travelers Canada, Nicole McNary of Manitoba Public Insurance, and of course, Sydney Morris of Intact Insurance. Brad Oberek of Centric Claims Management Inc., Shay Oliemi of Oldville Kirby Esau Inc., Amber Romelaire of Intact Insurance, Penny Shaw of Manitoba Public Insurance, Abby Sarah Smith of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance, graduating with honors, Jonathan Squires of Intact Insurance, Robert Tremblay of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance, Curtis Watson of Charles Taylor, and Tannis Weeb of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating our Chartered Insurance Professional graduates. Well done. Now we move on to the Advanced Chartered Insurance Professional Program. Please join me in recognizing our graduates. Kevin Cullen of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance, Stephen Ryle of SGI Canada, Blake Tarr of Portage Mutual Insurance and Alana Vuri of Portage Mutual Insurance. Congratulations to our Advanced Chartered Insurance Professional graduates. We now move on to the graduates of the Fellow Chartered Insurance Professionals Program. 
Melinda Selwood of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Congratulations, Melinda, for your completion of the Fellow Chartered Insurance Professionals Program. We now move on to our General Insurance Essentials Program. Please join me in recognizing our graduates. Florence Agravante Arcega of Federated Insurance. Dino Apostolopoulos of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Julie Blight of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Rosanna Bonpensier of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Monique Cassiano of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Janie Chang of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Erin Cummings of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Shai Dayro of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Jenny Fung of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Christopher Garbett of Red River Mutual. Deborah Hallhead of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Catherine Hine of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Patricia Hurst of People First HR Services. Pak Han Ho. Jesse Hira of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Patricia Irving of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Tiberiu Ivan of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Brian Jijam of Wawanisa Mutual, Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Jennifer Johnston of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance and Liza Jane Crater of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Sharon Kubakovich of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Mary Angeline Lagtapon of Federated Insurance. Ma Vanessa Lava of Federated Insurance. Andrew Lescu of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Kai Lundquist of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Karen Magaway of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Christopher Magnan of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Caleb Mueller, Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Rachel Mueller. Irina Pasco of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Kim Feel, Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Jade Richard Rainkey of CWB National Leasing. Lynn Riker of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Stephanie Subtilny of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Maria Tretakova of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Michelle West of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. And Drake Yeremko of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Congratulations to our General Insurance Essential Program graduates. Next, we'll recognize the graduates of the Risk Management Certificate Program. Brian Day of Arthur J. Gallagher Canada LTD and Taylor Demmer of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Congratulations to you both for your completion of the Risk Management Certificate Program. We now move on to recognize the graduates of the Commercial Insurance Certificate Program. Joyce Cassie of Peace Hills Insurance, Wei Chen of Nation West Inc., Trina Piasta of Saskatchewan Mutual Insurance, Megan Schellenberg of Red River Mutual, and Sarah Stecklin Folk of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Congratulations to our Commercial Insurance Certificate Program graduates. Finally, we recognize the graduates of the Instructor Certification Program. Mitchell Gusway of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance and Joanne Hampson, retired from Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Congratulations to you both for your completion of the Instructor Certification Program. Ladies and, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for our graduating class of 2019-2020. Jennifer, it is now my pleasure to share with you some congratulatory messages from industry leaders who have sent their support to our graduates. Enjoy. Congratulations, graduates. I can't believe we don't get to recognize your achievements in person this year. Today, you get to join a select group, 
those that through their commitment and dedication to continued education have obtained designations that are gonna open doors for you for your entire careers. It's your day, you've worked hard and you've earned it. Have fun, congratulations again. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sarfir Jatana and I'm the Vice President of Community and Employee Engagement for Manitoba Public Insurance. MPI and Insurance Institute of Manitoba have had a long history together. We know firsthand um, how important certification programs are to our industry and the opportunity they provide for our employees. We know that the education and skills that uh, these programs build are used every day within our organization and so many others. Um, completing this program is a huge accomplishment in any year, but especially this year. I know that students have required extra perseverance and dedication throughout this year. So please accept my wholehearted congratulations to all of the 2020 graduates. Take care. Hello, I'm Andrew Cartmel, President and CEO of SGI. I'm pleased to offer my congratulations to this year's CIP graduates. I think it's great that you've made this professional commitment to your careers and to our industry. And I wish you all the best as you leverage your newfound knowledge and expertise to support our customers and our business partners. Congratulations again. Hi everyone, uh, I dressed up a bit today because I think it's a great day to, uh, to celebrate and congratulate all of you uh, that have been going through the hard courses of, uh, of, to, to get your CIP designation. Uh, it's great to have some uh, well-educated people, well-trained people in our fantastic uh, industry, uh, an industry that is there to help people. So, uh, so guys, congratulations to all the graduates. Uh, and specifically, congratulations to all the intact graduates. Very proud uh, of you, uh, of all the work you're making and how seriously you take your development and your career. So on that, uh, have a good 2021 uh, and uh, hope to see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Presentation of our award winners. This part of today's presentation provides us the opportunity to recognize those people who have distinguished themselves as top, top academic achievers. Often only small margins separate award winners, but these students have gone just that extra distance, worked that much harder and challenged themselves to go above and beyond to reach the pinnacle of academic success. I'd like to draw your attention to the award sponsors listed in your program. Please join me in extending our sincere appreciation and thanks to them for participating uh, and these awards of excellence. We'll begin our presentation today with the General Insurance Essentials Program. This year's recipient of the Manitoba Association of Insurance Professional Awards, the top student at the General Insurance Essentials Program. Congratulations to Irina Pasco of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance Company. Moving to the award for our students working towards their CIP designation. This year we have three hardworking students who have tied to the Manitoba Public Insurance Award for students with the highest aggregate marks after the first three CIP courses. Our first student award and recipient of the Manitoba Public Insurance Award, please help me congratulate Catherine Stelmischuk of Sedgwick CMS Canada, Inc. Our next award winner is also the recipient of the Manitoba Public Insurance Award. Congratulations to Sarah Romanek of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance Company. Our final student award winner and recipient of the Manitoba Public Insurance Award, congratulations to Alison Rempel of QA Adjusting Company. We'll now move to the presentation of the awards for our graduates of the CIP program, um, who are all being recipients at the provincial level. Our first award winner is the recipient of the Centra Claims Management Award, CIP graduate with the highest marks in Manitoba. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Squires of Intact Insurance. The next graduate is the recipient of the Claims Pro, the top CIP graduate in the Claims Professional Series. Help me congratulate Brad Ulbrich of Centra Claims Management. The next graduate is the recipient of the Canadian Insurance Claims Management Association Award for the runner-up 
top CIP graduate in the Claims Professional Series. Please join me in congratulating Christine Fitzhenry of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance Company. The next graduate is the recipient of the Hawkshot Fire Investigation Award for the top CIP graduate in the Agent Slash Broker Professional Series. Please join me in congratulating Colrun Hensel of Rubin Insurance Brokers. Our next graduate is the recipient of the Portage Mutual Insurance Award for the top CIP graduate in the Underwriting Professional Series. Please join me in congratulating Tannis Weave of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance Company. Our final graduate award is the recipient of the Intact Insurance Award for the FCIP graduate with the highest marks in Manitoba. Please congratulate Melinda Selwood of Wawanisa Mutual Insurance Company. Congratulations to all of our students, award winners. You should be very proud of all of your accomplishments. And so our last award today um, is a very special one. Each year we present a special award to recognize the significant contribution that our CIP instructors make to their students' learning process. The Doug Hamilton Award is given to the instructor of the year. This instructor uh, has gone above and beyond to lead their CIP class and graduates to success within the program. This year, the Doug Hamilton Award goes to an instructor who has been involved in the Insurance Institute of Manitoba for over 30 years. She has spent that time as an instructor, volunteer, council member, and past president. Her areas of instruction include both CIP and GIE courses. With this unique year, she has stepped up to not only instruct, but to also complete her instructor certification program, providing she is a clear advocate for lifelong learning. In everything that she does, she's always striving to enrich and develop and grow the future insurance professionals, whether academically or professionally or personally. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to recognize Joanne Hansen. I'd like to take this opportunity to also recognize all of our local instructors for their dedication to the Insurance Institute, our students, and our industry. Our instructors have really gone above and beyond over the past year with all the changes the world has had to face. Thank you so much to Lindsay Anderson, Aaron Arjun, Mitchell Gustway, and Joanne Hampson. Thank you for your dedication. Your efforts help shape the future of this industry. With this, our complication ceremony uh, is now concluded. I want to personally congratulate each and every one of you to our graduates, to our award winners for all of your hard work. It has paid off. Thank you again to Jessica and local IIC for organizing this event. I know a lot of work has gone on behind the scenes and I really do appreciate you all participating in this virtual event. Though it would have been nice to see you in person, um, it's been nice to share this time together today. So. Uh, I really hope that the rest of your day brings joy and that you can get out and enjoy the good weather we're having. Congratulations again and have a lovely afternoon.